friends, your patience is about to be rewarded. For I have saved the best for last. I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency. It will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld. This elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar, powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now, magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry. You are... Someone fool enough to have believed you! My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. <laughs> Blackwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you, to make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. Good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. 
You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <laughs> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch, critique our form. Best two out of three? Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. Fight! We go another round. We both know how this ends. Day's coming, Kung Lao. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. <sighs> you. 
You were hungry. <clears throat> oh. Everything was delicious, Madame Beau. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madame Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madame Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madame Bo, is unfortunate. Against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Madame Bo. Fight. <laughs> person to extort, ruffian. Who's in over his head? This was you? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. Fight! <laughs>
For what it's worth, I'm not regretting this yet. <laughs> Guessing your choice to confront me. It is you who will regret crossing me. Incompetent. Oh, that works. I have had enough of you. Then go, before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Fight! Sorry, but I have to ask. Can any
You're a grandmaster. Interesting. Hang Lao, over here. Madame Bo, she's out cold. Oh no, is she dead? Not yet. Madam Bo, how are you? Kung Lao. So, Madam Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps, but they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Li Han, Kui Liang. So, these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Li Fengjian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. Off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way.
God damn it, Alessia. The darts came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so. Turn them off. And we're definitely getting warmer. How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. the floor that's not just any metal it's liquid mercury shit that stuff's toxic fatal only step where i step huh? what did i say the explosives that's our bridge do this right it'll fall across Take care of the she beasts. You disturb Cantaravala's slumber. For your sin, you die. 